Previously on Philip's Fam Bam. All right, you guys, here we go. We have, okay, Danny. <laughs> Amazing food. What do you give it out of 10? Uh, 11. 11, it was good? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Shot, shot. Yeah! So it was like going up the slide with socks. <laughs> What is up? Welcome to another Cook With Me, you guys. It's been a while. Has it been a while? It has been a while. Yeah, because the last one was the kids' cook-off. Yes, the kids did the cook-off. Yeah, and you guys, so, we are gonna be doing quite a few more Home Chef meals because they're awesome. Yeah, so jumping right into that, this video is sponsored by Home Chef once again, you guys. Seriously, the best way to start the new year because I know you're gonna be shocked but Danny and I are trying to be healthier. Whoa, what? <laughs> what? For the new year. I don't know, I feel like it's like taboo if you, if like to lose weight for the new year, right? Or try to eat healthier, be healthier, whatever. Whatever your goals may be, Home Chef is helping us out with that today, you guys, and we are gonna show you what we're making. Actually, right now, I'll just show you. <laughs> we are making Cuban steak burrito. Oh, nice. Check that out, you guys. Does that not look? delicious Holy and amazing moly. and we're having the sweet potatoes as a side so healthier than regular potatoes probably something we don't really ever make like ever and I was like is that enough for the family and then Tina's like yeah it's got the, it's got enough servings yep. and I'm like thinking in my head I'm like that's enough just for one serving for me and I'm like it's exactly. the new year. It's the new year. We can't <laughs> overeat. So, yes, this so, comes with the, oh, the roasted sweet potatoes. So we're going to show you guys how we're going to make these. But seriously, I just wanted to show you guys, I have everything prepared and laid out that is needed for this recipe. Home Chef sends you this stuff straight to your door in the amounts that you need it in, you guys. So it's as easy as literally pulling this stuff out of a bag and prepping it and getting it ready. Boom, done. Shakalaka. Shakalaka. Okay, you guys, so we are gonna get started on the cooking. The other thing I love real quick about this, you guys, is right here on this step-by-step -step instructions, it tells you everything you're gonna need before you start cooking. So right there, and you can just get everything out. I have my oven preheated already. I have the pans that I need out. I have the added ingredients, which is usually always like olive oil and salt and pepper for most recipes. And then all of the stuff that they sent us pre-packaged in the sizes, ready to go, ready to cook. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so we are gonna get started real quick. Um, this is the first thing we're supposed to do is cut up the sweet potatoes. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut all these up. I have already pre You're my sweet potato. Sweet potato. Come here, sweet potato. <laughs> oh, never mind. Let's go <laughs> to the cutting. <laughs> That was my hope. <laughs> yeah. So I've already pre-washed all of the produce stuff. So that's already washed, ready to go. So now we're just gonna cut this puppy up into, it says, place a large nonstick pan over medium heat and add one teaspoon olive oil, quartered sweet potatoes, and cut into half inch pieces. So. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not big on sweet potatoes. Okay, you know what I love? Sweet potato fries. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just not big on Look sweet like potatoes. That. I don't believe it with Home Chef. Yes, with Home Chef, yes, because they even had cauliflower mashed potatoes and I loved it more than regular mashed potatoes. So, yeah, so I'm not going to put it, put it, how do you say it? I'm not going to put it by them or? Yeah, because they always surprise us with stuff that we haven't ever really tried. Then we try it, we're like, oh my gosh, if we would have just known, like, like green beans, you guys know I love green beans out of the can. The way the kids made it on their last master cook-off, I was like, so good. Those are delicious. Yes. So it just gives me other ideas and inspirations on how to like flavor healthier foods that we may not normally eat or the kids may not normally eat. Yeah, just little and things that you can add. It does, it's awesome. So I'm gonna cut these up. All right, so we got it all cut up here, you guys. So now we are gonna put this into a pan with olive oil in a single layer. Whoa, don't right point here. that knife at me, please. <laughs> 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 All right, so here we go, single layer, and you're gonna leave it in here. Oh man, this pan, is it gonna be big enough for all our potatoes? Oh. Oh my God. Dogs are getting that, they're not gonna like it anyway. Anytime I drop like vegetables on the ground, like um, cucumbers or peas or whatever, the dogs just leave it alone. 
They're definitely part of this family. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Got a single layer of the sweet potatoes. And basically this is gonna cook for like um, two to three minutes or three to four minutes. And then we're gonna put it on a baking sheet and roast it in the oven until tender. And, so. then, and then comment down below and let us know if you guys have a way of making sweet potatoes what seasoning you put on them. Yeah, let us know you guys because you guys can get ideas from each other also in the comments below. And I'm always open to new ideas. Just, I don't know, I'm starting off this new year. Ashlyn's actually right now looking up different like recipe ideas that are healthy too. So, let's do this together. While the potatoes are cooking up right now, I am just cutting up, dicing up the tomatoes, getting those all prepped and ready, and then we'll cut up the jalapeno, jalapeno business. Ooh. So. Are the kids gonna be okay with that? Uh, we'll find out. Ooh. <laughs> we if don't, they don't have to add the seeds though. Yeah, then if they don't like spicy, then it's just more for me, that's fine. I honestly think this is just to add to the burrito if you want it. So they can kind of pick and choose whatever they want, which is, and they're okay with a little spice. Yeah, they like a little spice, so I'm not too worried about it. Also, just a reminder, you guys, if you guys want to try this, we always say it's a good time to try because you guys can use our code DANNYANDTINA30 to get $30 off your first order, which is just a great way to start for the new year to see if it works for you guys, if it works for your family. Just give it a try, you guys, because it seriously is the best. We love it. There has not been a meal that we've had from Home Chef that we have not loved. And if you guys have seen our previous videos of the kids doing the cook-off, we've done a teen cook-off and our 10 and 11 year olds did a cook-off. They can, can completely cook these meals on their own. That's how easy these are, you guys. So if you're willing, if you're wanting to try it out, now's a good time. Danny and Tina 30 for $30 off your first order. And let us know if you guys do it. A lot of you guys have messaged us with like the different meals that you guys get. So um, let us know how you like them because we want to try different things on there as well because they have so many different selections. Let us know what you guys thought was good when you order your first box. And it was so easy, you guys. Not only can the 10 and 11 year olds do it, but I can do it. <laughs> and so you guys- That's almost saying more than just yeah, and you guys know I'm not used to more than like three ingredients in a in a recipe And so home chef literally allows me to cook and feel like I'm a chef it Really you guys because if you look at these It was so funny because when we posted the pictures of this and I told the people at the beginning I said just wait once my 10 and 11 year old make this it's gonna look almost identical to that picture because I just knew that the step-by-step -step, it makes it happen yeah and people were commenting they're like I did not believe you when you said that but it's so true it yeah. looks <laughs> almost exactly like the picture yes. I was like, hey if they can do it if Danny can do it anyone, anyone can, can do, do it, it. <laughs> it's pretty amazing okay sweet potatoes have been cooking for about two to three minutes so we're gonna just put this on a sprayed and um, foiled cooking sheet and we're gonna just get these all in here i had to use two pans because we got a bunch of potatoes and their they want it they want it like, single layered yeah and their portions are like decent you guys so this totally will work for our entire family and we'll see how the kids like the sweet potatoes so i don't we'll find out but we're gonna um well i think some of them have They've liked like sweet potato fries. Sweet potato and... fries, yeah. So I'm curious if these will taste similar to like a fried. Possibly. They're, they're gonna be roasted, but. Let's we're... see if I like it because I definitely I do not like sweet potato yeah, fries. Not... That's true. And so let's see if I like these. So we'll see, we'll see. But look at this. Just salt and peppering these up. For oh. some. Uh... Well, that's all I think I'm gonna love them. Oh yeah. <laughs> You never have too much salt. Well, you can. I have had things with too much yes, salt. Yes, I've made my own chips before and I've had too much salt. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, so we're gonna salt and pepper these up and then we are gonna stick this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes or until tender. So, boom, look at that, guys. That's looking delicious already. All right, in they go. Boom. In they go. In they go. So now we're gonna work on the other stuff, the meat. Woo, right now. So we got the jalapenos going right here, just cutting these up, and then we'll get the meat started, so. So do jalapenos 
Jalapenos. Jalapeno business. Oh yeah. Do they absolutely have like no spice if the seeds are out? I think so. Should we try it? Okay. <laughs> oh. That's so rude. Oh. Did you know? <laughs> You were that like, was what? so rude. It smells like pepper. Oh, so I'm like, well, maybe goodness. it tastes like bell pepper. Oh, no, no. It still has a little spice oh. to it. Not horrible. Not horrible. Yeah. It's so spicy. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh. All right. So we're getting ready to do the meat right now. Basically, it says to pat it dry, which is what I'm doing right now. Flavor it with some black pepper which I'm doing. We got our olive oil heating up right there in the same pan we used for the um, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. And then we're gonna just put the meat in there, you guys, so. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna just, this is like thin. Woo, yeah! Sizzle, Holy. sizzle, baby! I love it! Sizzle, sizzle, I faux like bizzle. I love it, I want the more of it. Oh shoot, what was that from? I don't know. I think it was another video you did oh, that. What? I Woo! like it. I love it. You I want some, some more of it. I cry so hard. That's all I know. Oh, oh. <laughs> Is it an actual song? Yes! Oh! It's a song. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right? Oh. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I just think of it up. I like it. I love it. I want some more oh, of it. Well, basically, you're going to just stir this all up until it's all brown. And it says it'll take about three to five minutes or so. So. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh, my mama. It's looking good, guys. All right, we got the meat cooking, you guys. Potatoes oh. are done -zo. So they're nice and tender. I just checked them, and they're gonna be good. I'm excited about these, so. I actually wanna try one. Right now? No, but yeah, I you do. Wait. You wait, boy. All right, look at that, all cooked up. It's all wow. cooked, no more pink. You guys, I love how these are like the thin pieces. Like, look at that. Oh, serious. So basically what we're gonna do now is just take this and put it over here to the side for a minute because we're gonna even add more flavor to this, you guys, and it is gonna be amazing. I already know it. My mouth literally is watering. Oh man, <laughs> I'm not surprised. And so part of me deep down inside is hoping maybe one of the kids won't like it so much. Oh, they will. Oh. <laughs> Sweet potatoes, we'll see. Sweet potatoes, we'll see if they like. But no. this, I know they're gonna like. But I, I, I actually, I'm actually gonna just really work towards just having one serving, so. Yeah, we're trying to be better with our servings, which this kind of helps us too. So if you guys like are you know, with the new year trying to do like a weight loss journey or anything like that, honestly, what we say for our first step, just cut back. Yes. Just cut back. Make, don't like, don't, don't like overwhelm it. yourself. Yes. You know? Because I know for me, when I get overwhelmed with stuff, I'm just like, forget it. Like, yeah. I can't even do this. So I like to start small. So I'm starting with my eating portions, like just making sure I'm not overeating and not overeating especially a lot of like crap like yes. I normally do. <laughs> and then I will incorporate like little bits of like exercise, whether it's like a walk, walking the dogs, you know, a little bit further than normal or running around the kitchen. Running around the kitchen like Danny just was. <laughs> Danny was literally just running around the kitchen trying to get his steps. In, in between shots to get my steps. Yeah, which is good. <laughs> get you moving though. Like that's like your motivation. So I wanna know you guys, let me know down below what are your guys' new New Year's resolutions do you have them do you make them do you have goals like what are they i'm super curious okay so now we're going to add to the same pan where we cook the meat just a little bit of olive oil and jalapenos so that's where these come in we're going to put these in here just like that roast them up a little bit how do you say that again jalapeno business <laughs> So look at that, this is where it's gonna start smelling delish. Ooh. All right, it's smelling good in here, you guys. So Ooh. to this, we are adding one fourth, I actually need to add more because I'm tripling the actual recipe. Oh, wow. So, okay, so I'm gonna add more water. Okay, so we're gonna add these already pre-measured, um, it's called beef demi. Ooh. So we're gonna put that in there to flavor up 
This is like the sauce wow. that's going on the meat, you guys. So we have three little packets of this for our serving size. So we're gonna put in all of this. So good. Oh my gosh, you know it's gonna be delicious. I mean, how could it not, okay? Number two, Number so you're putting two. one more, right? Yep, one more. Wow, see, then you mix that up and I'm sure that goes right over the meat. Ooh, we got more to add to this even. Oh, so. really? So we're gonna add the steak strips into here. Ooh. You guys, no, this is no joke, okay? This is no joke. Oh. And then we do the seasoning rub, which is also just pre-measured, ready to go. You just put it right over. We've got three little packs here. Is that like the butt rub? Yes. So we got the seasoning all on there. Look, check this out. We're gonna rub this. Oh my. Does that not smell amazing? So good. Oh my goodness. Wow. So basically, we're gonna mix this all together and cook it up until most of the water is evaporated. So it's gonna like seep it, seep oh. into the meat and just like, oh, make it extra delicious. I'm excited. Hey guys, oh my, you have no idea how delicious this smells. Wow. Like, amazing. That's so good. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. I just wanna like taste I don't it. dare tell you that. Okay, so we're gonna make up this burrito, you guys. There's still a couple more steps. So, we're gonna do it to Danny's liking, because he's gonna try this out first. Ooh so, we're gonna put the meat on. Ooh, that's hot. Hot meat, hot meat. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you can already tell this has so much flavor. Oh my gosh, flavor. so much flavor. Oh my mama. You wow. want more meat than that? Sure. <laughs> if you say so. I mean, I guess. I get okay. one burrito, so stack, <laughs> fill that puppy up. Take one into two. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do, you don't want tomato, right? Um, sure. Oh. All right, and it's going all out. Nice. That's all I get, so fill me up. All right, so we've got the cheese. Oh, Ooh cheese just makes life oh, better. She just put the. Oh, it's no. a, I was like, did you just put the whole bag? <laughs> I was thinking about it, but I was like, nah. We got the tomatoes. Ooh. Okay, and then we've got these awesome, cute little packets of sour cream. We're just gonna go watch this. Oh, I should have just whatever. Wow, you're good with that. Oh yeah. I should have just clipped the corner, but whatever, who cares? I can't be perfect all the time, guys. Wow, you guys, look at that. So good. All right, so then, it's not done yet. We what? got to roll it. Ooh. We got to roll the burrito. I am the worst at rolling burritos. Comment down below if you are good or bad as a burrito roller. Oops, I just tore the tortina, so oh. I guess I'm not very good at it. Oh, <laughs> and then do you heat it up? So watch this. So now you're gonna put it over here. It says seam side down, but this one kind of wrapped all the way around, so we're gonna just do it this way first. That means you didn't fill it enough. Oh, Needs sorry. more meat. <laughs> next time, next time. I'll fill it better next time. So now you're gonna just kind of cook it. It says on wow. these instructions, um, place a medium nonstick pan over medium heat, place burritos in dry hot pan, seam down, cook on two sides until browned one to two minutes per side. Oh my goodness. Then it's gonna be ready to eat, babe. Oh. Mouth is watering. <laughs> burrito, burrito, burrito. <laughs> Who's Tito? I don't know. <laughs> We just flip the burrito. Ooh, I kind of like it the that. golden brown, so we're gonna keep it golden brown. Yes. So, oh, it's gonna be good. Yeah, and it's mine. <laughs> 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 Whatever. Let's check it out. Ooh la la. We're gonna cut it right down the middle, you guys. Okay, can we just show this? Oh my. Are you kidding? Wow. That looks pretty incredible. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's so good. So there it is. Now let's compare it to the picture S. So here we go. Wow, you guys. Check that out. Twins. Twinsies. <laughs> Twinsies. All right, let's this take a bite. Good. Let's do it. There's Danny Phillips. Oh, that's my name. Ready to eat this deliciousness. Ooh, is it real hot? I wonder. I don't know. I think you'll be okay though. I think I will. <laughs> wow, you could almost eat that whole thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Holy crud. So good? So delicious. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. A lot of flavor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew there would be a ton of flavor like, in there. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. I don't usually have tomatoes, which I mean, you're probably like, why is he putting tomatoes? I know. But I'm like, Home Chef knows what they're doing. <laughs> so. Like the combo. I'm not going to take it out. Yeah. They probably put it in because it adds a certain type of flavor. And so. That's what we always say, too, about Home Chef, is they literally, yeah. like, their food, like, flavor combinations are always so, like, Amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you got to try the sweet potato now. That's the true test. Does Danny like the sweet potato? And and remember, you guys, he's not normally a sweet potato fan, and we didn't really do much to these other than add salt and pepper. So we'll see. Iffy. I could see it in your face. Taste is good. The texture. Oh, you're a texture guy. Yeah. So like, I feel like for me, if they were cooked a little longer. Oh, okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yep. so maybe dry out the, the center a little bit. Almost tastes like um, squash. Mm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like a potato. But I just took another one. <laughs> oh. So it wasn't that bad. Okay, <laughs> we got Ethan here getting ready to try this out. He's like so excited. He's like, what are you guys cooking? He's our foodie. You're totally our foodie. Okay, <laughs> big old bite. So good. Oh, okay, I want you to try the sweet potato just because I want to see how you like sweet potatoes. Honestly, that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, right? The flavor is amazing. You amazing. get through on the whole one. Yep. Sweet potato. Oh. You like that too? Oh, good. Nice. Good. It has like just the right amount of taste in it. Like soft, good. Ooh, awesome. It's a hit. Okay, real quick, you guys, I'm gonna try this out and then we are gonna go grub down as a family. Mmm. That's so wow. good. Wow. Mm. You could put the rest down. I'm like getting I'm I'm getting like yeah, protective. Like everyone's eating my food. <laughs> I only get one. So you guys don't don't forget. You can type, you can um, go to Home Chef and don't forget our code, Danny and Tina 30. Danny and Tina 30, $30 off, you guys. That is an amazing deal. Make sure you guys go check them out. They have all sorts of different meals that you guys can pick from. I promise you guys are gonna love it. It comes straight to your door, full of ice packs, keeps everything nice and fresh and cold and ready to go for when you're ready to cook it and so many healthy options, you guys, and perfect for the new year for those of you who are trying to watch what you're eating, portion-wise and just junk-wise. Okay, going for the sweet potato, and then we're all done. Ooh, I like those. Yeah, you like that mm -hmm. texture? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. So if you're a sweet potato fan, you guys will like these. They're delicious. Awesome. Love them. Okay, that's it, you guys, from us tonight. You guys, once again, thank you to Home Chef for sponsoring this video. Let us know if you guys try it out. And that is it. Thanks so much for watching. We love you guys. Don't forget to come back tomorrow. And don't forget... Choose your day! day.